Congratulations, you won a trip for two to the Maasai Mara Park in Kenya. You pack all your summer clothes and clear space on your camera because you know it is going to be a trip of a lifetime. You enjoy a first class flight to Kenya and stay in one of the exotic lodges at the park where you can even feed giraffes from the restaurant. Eventually you make your way to the safari and take as many pictures of all animals you only saw on television. And while living your best life, you somehow come face to face with a territorial, defensive, space consuming beast. You realize at this moment that you are staring at a fully grown hippopotamus. What do you do? That is what we'll discuss today on Africa Assemble. By the way, be a friend and subscribe, click the notification button to never miss our videos and like the video to help us make more videos you love about our amazing continent. Let's dive in. So before we try to save your life as you are face to face with a hippo, let's just learn more about the hippo, shall we? These seahorses, which is what hippopotamus means, usually weigh over 3,000 pounds or 1,500 kilograms. They can live up to 50 years and really, really love the water. In fact, they spend most of their days submerged in the water, with their noses and eyes conveniently located at the top of their heads. When they fully go under the water, they can hold their breaths up to 5 minutes. However, do not let their physique and cute faces fool you. These animals have teeth that reach 20 inches in length and they are extremely territorial. They kill about 500 people per year and their mouths can open almost 180 degrees, making their chomp snap a canoe or even break a crocodile in half. Do not let their size fool you either. Hippos can run up to 19 miles per hour. So with that out of the way, what would happen if you stumble upon a hippo? Well, it depends truly on how far away you are from the animal. As hippos are territorial, the distance between you and the animal will determine its course of action. The closer you are, the more likely it will spot you and feel you are encroaching on its space. However, if you are close to the hippo but both of you are close to water, there is a possibility that the hippo would prefer the water. They are herbivores, so that's a bit of good news, but what happens when it looks like it is yawning? If a hippo opens its mouth showing you its teeth, the hippo is not tired at all. It is in fact warning you to keep your distance because it will most likely charge at you. What happens when it does in fact come after you? You should do what any other person would do, which is run. But remember, a hippo will certainly outrun you. So what do you do? Well, to slow the beast down, you have to refrain from running in a straight line and meander through obstacles and eventually find something to climb, like a tree. That's what happens if you meet a hippo on land. But what happens if you meet one in the water? Well, it's almost the same scenario that would happen. As long as you alert the hippo that you are around and you keep your distance, there should be no trouble. But if they do come after you, paddle, swim and drive away as quickly as possible. As hippos are not great swimmers and so their stamina is their disadvantage here. But if they do get to you, they can snap you in half and drag you underwater. Only a few have survived an encounter with a hippo in water. Now what happens when you are at arm's length of a hippo and it's fighting you? Do whatever you can to get the upper advantage because a hippo will aim to fight to the death, which in this case unfortunately means the same for you. Do whatever you can to give yourself time to escape its grasp by making it uncomfortable. Poke its eyes, stick your hand down its throat and pray for a miracle to happen. But do not worry, the chances of you stumbling into a hippo are slim unless you go looking for one. Just stay away during dry season, stay away from tall grassy areas in the evening and observe poop trails. Now we turn the question to you. Do you think you can outrun a hippo? It has happened before. Share this with a friend and drop a comment if you disagree or would like to request a new video. Till then brothers and sisters, Kwaheri.